Hey guys, remember me? Yeah, the two videos that I have up. Good job, Melissa. Anyways, um, I actually have an explanation for that. Actually, I don't. I can't justify why I, like, I told myself that I wanted to do YouTube. And I do. I promise, I do. And, um, I just don't have, I haven't had the motivation, and I don't know why, because I really do want to do it. But I just haven't, like, told myself, like, you need to start uploading videos. So, I'm going to be doing more regular videos, and I'm starting today with my January favorites video. So, let's go ahead and get into that so I can do more regular videos. So, I want you guys to tell me what you want me to do, because I need to get focused, and I need to get motivated, and I need to do more videos. Because I only have two, and that's pathetic. My first January favorite is actually concealer, and it is the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer, and I'm in the shade Creamy Natural. So it's just a concealer. I use it under my eyes, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. So I recommend it. My second favorite for this month is actually a eyeshadow trio, and it's by Wet n Wild, and I actually tore the name off the back. <laughs> When I was taking, when I was trying to open it, I kind of like annihilated the back and the front is there too, so. But it's just got these, I don't know, I'll show you the colors. It's got like this plum purple for the eyelid, and then it has like this dark brown for the crease, and I just really love it. I've been wearing it a lot recently. I'm actually not wearing any eyeshadow today. All I'm wearing today is concealer, a little bit of face powder, eyeliner, and mascara. I was really lazy today. And I actually just put makeup on before I did this video, and it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But I don't think I'm going anywhere today, so it's fine. But, um, yeah. This has been one of my favorites. I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I definitely recommend all of them. Well, all the ones that I've tried, obviously. But this is definitely one of my favorites right now. And, yeah. I have two more eye products for this month, other than the Wet n Wild trio. Um, this is the e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner Pen, and it's just black, obviously. And it's a liquid liner, and I use it for my upper lash line. And I'm not good with um, the wand type liquid liners. I have to do the pen because with the wand I can't control it. I'm like really bad at that. I'm bad at liquid liner in general, but I have a lot more control with this. And I always like to do wings when I do liquid liner on the top. So I feel like I have a lot more control with this and I really, really like it a lot more than the wand type. So, yeah. And then I have a mascara favorite, which of course you guys are going to know what this is because every beauty guru this is in there favorites right now. It's the Rocket by Maybelline Mascara, and it's just, it's amazing. I have it on right now, of course, and it's just, it's just great. I love it. <laughs> I love all of Maybelline's mascaras. I don't think I've tried one that I haven't liked yet. Besides the Mega Plush, like, a lot of people really like that, but I actually didn't like it that much, because it's, if you, I'm a type of person that likes dramatic lashes. I've never worn false lashes, but I like dramatic lashes, and that that's for a more natural look. So if you like natural lashes, definitely try that one. But for me, that wasn't one of my top favorites. But this is definitely up there. So, yeah. Three lip product favorites for this month. The first one is a lip gloss, and it's by Revlon. And it's in the shade Pink Pursuit. So that's what it looks like. I have it on my lips right now. Oh, I forgot I'm wearing lip gloss right now, too. But um, I'm always wearing lip gloss, so that's not a shocker. But, yeah, it's just... Really, it's pink, obviously, pink pursuit, and it has shimmer glitters in it, and it's really pretty. I really like it, so, yeah. And then my next lip favorite is a lipstick by CoverGirl in the shade Hot Passion, and it's just like this, it's, it's red, guys. It's, it's red. Just kidding. It's like, it's pink. No, it's, it's obviously red. But, um, I was watching Florida Force's video when she met Taylor Swift, or she was talking about um, when she met Taylor Swift or something, and she was saying that this is the lipstick that Taylor said that she wears, like, the exact one, and I've been obsessed with Taylor Swift's red lips ever since she started wearing them, like, everywhere, so I was like, I have to find what, um, lipstick she wears, and I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be, like, really expensive, like, Chanel or YSL or something really expensive that I can't afford, and then, um, Fleur said that it was Hot Passion by CoverGirl, and I was like, I have to get that. So my mom actually put this makeup bag together for me for Christmas, and this was in it, and I was really excited. So I love that. Last lip product is by Wet n Wild, and it's, it doesn't have a name, but it says number and 907C, N07, 907C, and it's like, if I can open it, it's like this plummy 
purplish color. I'm really bad at describing colors, guys. I'm sorry. But, um, it's really pretty. Um, I've been wearing it a lot recently ever since I got it. I got it, like, sometime in January. I don't remember when, but, <laughs> um, I really like it. It's just, yeah, it's pretty. So that's all the lip products that I have. I have two, well, actually, I have three scent favorites, but one's a candle that I'm going to have to go get in a second. But, um, I have two scent favorites, like, perfume stuff. And this is the, this is the, um, Bath and Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist in Twilight Woods. And, um, I got this for Christmas as well from my aunt. And it just smells, it's amazing. You guys have probably all smelled this before, so I don't really have to go into detail because I don't know how to describe scents anyways, but it's like, it's musky and it just smells amazing. So, I definitely recommend this. Go pick it up at Bath and Body Works. And then I have a hair mist, which is the Someday by Justin Bieber hair mist. And I've been wanting this perfume for the longest time, but it's like, so many perfumes and perfumes in general are just like way overpriced and I got this for three dollars because me and my mom were walking through the I think we were at Target or Walmart or something and we were walking through the Christmas clearance stuff and this was on clearance and there was like three left and it was only three dollars so I was like can I get it so my mom bought it for me and I just thought my favorite candle for this month is Vanilla Be Noel by Bath and Body Works and I know what you guys are thinking she's still on um Christmas scents and yes because I have to use up my candle I started this in December like the end of December because I was burning another Christmas one and then I had this and so I'm still burning it it's like halfway gone ish like a little less than halfway and it just smells really good. I'll read you the description because these things have descriptions, so that's good. It says, warm your heart on a cold winter's night with a delicious medley of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and ripped comforting cream. And that just describes it so well. It smells so good. But, um, it even says it's a winter scent, so warm your heart on a cold winter's night. So, it's still winter, even though I live in Florida and we didn't have a winter. So, um, I can still burn this. I can still justify burning this. Oh, I'm wearing a One Direction shirt, guys. And then my Louis cardboard cutouts in the background. Isn't this just, isn't it great? It's going to random favorites, and do I really have any random favorites? Obviously, I have random favorites. Um, TV shows, I guess. Um, my favorite TV shows are, right now, are, I'm so late on this, guys, I'm sorry, but Gossip Girl. I'm catching up with it on Netflix. I'm still on season one, and I know that Dan's Gossip Girl, like, that went on Tumblr, on Twitter, everywhere, so I already know it's already ruined for me, but I still want to watch it, and it's it's so good, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, Gossip Girl and The Carrie Diaries. I actually just finished the book, and um, I told myself that I wanted to read the book before I started on the show, so I was already, like, a few episodes behind on the show, but I've been catching up on it, um, watching it on the CW website, so that's definitely one of my favorites. And Pretty Little Liars, obviously. Pretty Little Liars is going to be my favorite show every month, whether it's on the air or not. Like, whether they go to season break or not, it's still going to be my favorite show. Because <laughs> I already have the first two seasons on DVDs. Um, my brother got me the first season last year for Christmas, and then he got the second season for me this year for Christmas. So, well, this past Christmas. Um, but, um, so yeah. Sorry, I said I'm a lot. Oh, I just got a text. Favorite movie for the month, guys? Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect is all around perfect. That was cheesy, I'm sorry. But it really is. It's hilarious. It's great. I love the songs. My brother bought the soundtrack, and I have all the songs on my iPod. And Fat Amy is just, Fat Amy is my best friend. Fat Amy is great in every single way possible. And yeah, so if you haven't watched it, you're like, what are you doing with your life? You need to go watch it. Just go get it watch it on Netflix, go to Redbox, go to Blockbuster, wherever, whatever you have to do, go buy it from Target, whatever, just please watch Pitch Perfect. <laughs> Songs for the month. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so hard because my life revolves around music. Not even joking. Um, gosh. Daylight by Maroon 5. I love that song. I'll have, I'll put links to everything in the down bar, all these songs. Um, Daylight by Maroon 5. Thrift Shop. Some people love that song, some people hate that song. I absolutely love that song. Um, but the cover, Alex G's cover of Thrift Shop, that's my favorite. I listen to it all the time. Um, what else? Justin Bieber's acoustic album is pretty great. Um, yeah, I need to buy it. I haven't bought it yet, but I've been listening to it a lot. And I think that's it. 
Come on by Kesha. I have two favorite events for this month. I got my nails done, if you couldn't tell, for the first time in my life. That's weird, I know. But I went to Ohio to see all my family. So many of my family lives there. And it was so fun. I just wish the circumstances I went were different because I had to go because one of my family members passed away and the funeral was in Ohio. But, um, yeah, so that was fun, even though the circumstances weren't the most, the greatest. Um, but sorry, guys, I'm kind of talking fast because my camera is running out of memory. But that's it for my favorites for this month. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to be doing videos more regularly, so leave in the comments down below what you want me to do. Sorry, I'm talking really fast, but, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you guys in my next video, which is going to be less than three months away. Maybe less than three days away, so please comment down below so I don't have to go through a whole stretch and actually get focused on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.